shifting, my uh, stabilization hand is going to go. Elbow? It's going to go, uh, I'm going to stabilize by gripping the uh, distal end of the radial, radius and ulna. So I can, I can grip it. I don't want to get too far down. I want to, you know, distal end though. Where do you think my distraction hand is going to go? On the, I'm going to grab the proximal end of the wrist or at the carpals as much as I can. And I, I'm just going to, usually I would do this standing so I get a little stabilization. I can use a little bit of um, force and I'm just going to distract the wrist. I'm just pulling towards Fortunato. So I got the wrist and I'm just going to distract and pull. All right, how long do I hold, Sandy? 30 minutes? All right. 30 seconds. Okay, I'll take it. How many sets, uh, Barrett? Usually do about three to four. Three to four. Three to five. Okay? All right. So that's a distraction. Very straightforward. We've done, you know, we've done the elbow, we've done the shoulder. Same thing at the wrist. Radial carpal. Okay? Now, if I want to do a anterior glide. Who am I picked on? Garrett. Not picked on you, but... Tell the story, but if I want to do a uh, radial carpal uh, glide to increase uh, wrist extension, what glide am I going to do? Anterior. Anterior. I like it. So he's not. I can't get him in anatomical position. But which way do you think I'm going to do my glide? Down. Who says down? Raise your hand. Down. Who says up? Raise your hand. Those that said down, you get extra points. <laughs> okay? Because, what? So if I go, so if I go down, I mean, if I go down, it should increase wrist extension. So same thing. I'm going to stabilize the dis, uh, distal radial, uh, radius and ulna. I'm going to give a get grade one distraction with this part of my hand, the, the webbing and the thinner aspect of my hand, I'm going to push down. I'm going to try to use the weight of my shoulder to give me the distraction, or I mean the, the glide. Okay? So I'm going, to I'm going to have you come out a little bit further. There we go. If he's on the table, I can't, the table's going to get in the way. All right, so distraction, push down. Now as I increase, I'm going to have to change my angle, remember, just like we did with the shoulder. As the shoulder increases, now i got to make sure I stay perpendicular. So if Chris, uh, Christian doesn't have any movement, I'm okay here, but as, as the, in, the range increases, I've got to change my angle. Does that make sense? Yes. Excellent. All right. If I want to do a increased flexion, who have I picked on? Abby. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Abby, I want to increase wrist flexion. What kind of glide do I want to do? Posterior. It's very hard to do it this way. So I'm going to keep the hand in pronation, but now I have to do more work. I have to lift, I got to distract and lift up. And I can put, I'm going to try to use this part, my hand, my, uh, my index finger to come underneath to try to give a little bit more, um, well, support. I don't want to just use my fingers, it it's hurts more, but I want to try to use as much musculature or bony st structure to do the, the glide instead of just trying to use you know, the small muscles of the finger. So I'm going to go out, and I'm going to lift up. As he increases range of motion, I've got to change my direction. Make sense? All right. I would like you to try those. I want you to do distraction, anterior-posterior glide of the radiocarpal bone. Okay, let's try it on two 